let's engage the chairman of the new patriotic party freddie blay on what the year 2021 has been like for the party and then of course projections going into uh, 2022 thank you and welcome to the city news show run us through the highlights of the year for you as chairman of the party it's been a very busy year, challenging year for ghana and that is covid 19 threat it's been a scourge on the economy on the social life that impact we are still coping with it's not been easy i would say that's been a highlight that has uh, honestly impacted all uh, things that we've done in this country. Now, on governance and the economy, critics of the ruling party and for that matter government have uh, most often than not accused the government of hiding behind uh, the pandemic uh, and of course uh, attributing all of its uh, lapses or failures, if I may put it that way, to the pandemic. Your thoughts on this? I think those who are criticizing the government using that argument are not being fair. Not being fair to us, but also being fair to Ghanaians. What are the facts? The facts are that prior to 2020, particularly when the pandemic was in full force, 2019, in 2018, the economy was up high. GDP was moving. We were getting uh, the GDP of over, uh, what is it, uh, 8? The growth rate was over 8%, getting to 8%, 7 to 8%. And everything else was good. And it's not only for Ghana. But before we could say, Jack, the pandemic had brought everything deep down. So, Chairman, just this morning, uh, former President uh, Mahama uh, accused uh, President Ekuvuado of failing to show leadership in running the affairs of the country. You are speaking at the uh, 40th commemoration of the 31st December uh, movement. He says President Ekuvuado has failed to show leadership in steering the affairs of the country. Well, that's an opinion. Uh, excuse me. It's, it's been expressed by, fortunately, by uh, my very good friend. We're in parliament together a bit, but that, that's a criticism from the opposition. It says we should take it with a pinch of some kind of sort, because uh, what do you mean by showing leadership? 2022 will be the second year in the second administration of the Nanado Dankwa Kufuado led administration. What should Ghanaians expect? He did say that the last time that I heard him talk uh, to Ghanaians, and indeed the last time you spoke to us at our Congress, which you said, at our conference, which I believe you covered it beautifully, he made, he made it clear that there will be challenges, but we are almost having it under management, under control. But this year, Coming this year, that means a lockdown this year. And the next year is going to be better. 2022 is going to be far better. And uh, 2023 will even be more better. Let me put it that cr crudely. But definitely, now we, are the, we have the resilience. We've not known how to handle that pandemic. We're moving on. It, it's not easy. We're not out of the woods. I pray and I know and I believe, just as the president has made it clear, next year, 2022, will be far better than what we have experienced the last year. Thank you very much, Chairman Freddie Blade, National Chairman of the New Patriotic Party, NPP. We also will be bringing you the expectations of the opposition National Democratic Congress, NDC, uh, for the coming year, 2022. I believe that. The leader of the MPP side and the Ministers of Parliamentary Affairs, Assembly Chairman Sekulusu, owes the duty to ensure that he brings his long experience and expertise in Parliament on board to ensure that we have a very peaceful Parliament. Because when I heard him organizing a press conference and attacking the Speaker, and the integrity of the speaker, I ask myself, where are we going? So his disposition, his actions and inactions is contributing to the situation that we have in Parliament. And I believe that as we enter into a new year, tonight, as a chairman of 
resolution. We will pray and make a resolution to turn the better leaf when we come back to Parliament in 2022. Because our 107 gallant MPs will continue to stand resolute on the side of the Indians and defend the constitution of our country with all their might and with all their strength.